Question for the day. Question for the day. How many holes are there in a straw? What do you consider a hole? What do you consider a hole? Because the entire thing is a hole. It has two openings. Openings are not holes. Okay, then there's one solid hole. Yeah. I, I, it's, there's, it's there's, one hole. There's two openings to the hole. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Axel Corbin. Thinking about his mom right now. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to your on Patreon. Follow us with a comment, subscribe, like button. Here we have another Molly Elm uh, teaser uh, trailer. Uh, this just dropped, I think, last night. I could be wrong. January 28th. A couple days ago. Two Sorry. days ago. Um, but it's called this. Yes. What's it called? I don't know. You'll Corbinize nope, it. I'd love not, it. I'm doing that. Come on. Nope. And we're shipping Candidum. <laughs> uh, Tavino Thomas. Uh, comes out February 9th. Um, that's all we know. That's all we know. Still recording the screen from the uh, last one. Oh, yeah. don't do that. Uh, that's what I did to your mom. Yeah, I've felt that. What? <laughs> uh, it's always strange. My wife likes to point out to me sometimes that my mom, but like, I have technically... Many, many times had my mom's boob in my mouth. Don't ever say that again. Here we go. I say thanks, babe. Appreciate that. murder investigation Where was he or she killed That was a pretty shot. Unofficially. <laughs> Damn. Nice trailer. Good trailer. The editing on the trailer was superb. Didn't give anything away, um, but kept you engaged and intrigued. In a story that, uh, just on the surface, I'm sure obviously there's a lot more, it's a Molly Allen film, but is kind of one that everybody's seen something before. It gave me Drishium vibes. Mm -hmm. um, murder mystery, yeah. Yeah, it's just a murder mystery. There's a murder. Cops got to find out who did it. Right. Um, You're trying to figure out who's not, guilty, who's not. I'm not saying it's a Trishim thing, but that's that's a story that's been told a billion times yeah, in, in, in film. It's And it's why, you know, TV shows like NCIS or CSI last and run for ages because they can just go to the unending pool of crime stories that are out there and and, and turn them into stories for TV and film. So they're, it's, it's a genre that'll never tire. I, I really love them, especially if they lean... That doesn't matter, but it's nice sometimes when they lean more toward psychological thriller or even horror. Yeah, and, and Molly Allen, I think, doesn't really well. Like, I think, was it last year that we saw the one with the, um, there's one with um, Joju George, right? Where he was playing the twins. Yes, very good film. Underrated film of last year. Yeah, um, he did a great job in that film. And then similar, it was similar story. There was another one. Was it the year before with Joju George? But he wasn't the twins. It was him and the two other cops, the girl. Cops yeah, that I think that was Joju George as well. Is that Joju? Yeah. Um, with the murders and people are hanging in trees. Yeah, Molly Allen just does stuff and they just don't care about the the box office. 
Uh, or or they just know that their audiences are different. Yes. Um, it's it? true. I, I'm sure, that obviously, it's, it's a business. So the producers are caring about the box office, obviously. Um, but maybe it's just that they know Malayalam audiences are different than everywhere else. What Malayalam audiences support, maybe not in numbers like the audiences for Jawan. And no, but enough world. to justify making yeah. these things over Make, and over yeah. again. Um, Malayalam audiences um, tend to just do that more. Um, Care about story, trust creativity and things being different. Um, yeah. Malayalam, I mean, uh, Tamil also does, I feel like, but they also, the, the difference is Malayalam doesn't have as big of films as Tamil does. Um, at least from what I've garnered, um, like they might have like these art, uh, artistic films that I think audiences do support uh, a lot of times, but um, they also have these big juggernauts that the only time I've really seen in Malayalam is um, when like Mo, uh, Mohanlal is doing something sure really big, right? Maybe like the Drishyam series, right? Uh, that because that's originally a, the a Malayalam film, um, so. But this looks really cool. Tovino Thomas, I think, does has great choices. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm definitely interested. First time director. It's so rare. I I can't even think of a time where I saw a trailer for a Malayalam film and it wasn't something that piqued my interest. Yeah, rolls around two major crimes that shook Kerala. The subsequent injury uh, inquiry into the case by SOP. And I'm. Does that mean this is a tr based on a true story? I don't know. It says it revolves around two major crimes that shook Kerala. So. Um, I'm trying to see if we uh, are going to get it. I doubt it'll be up already. LJP's film wasn't even up until like the week of this, yeah. this past. Well, that was, it's also, that was that weird place of Globes, Oscar noms. Well, it's kind of still there, aren't we, though? No, now that the nominations are out. Theaters are going to have a really good idea. It's 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 funny to see. You'll have a theater like the AMC 16 and there'll be 25 films because they'll stagger the screening time so they can play more films on their screens. It at least is on Fandango and says opens next Friday, but Great. There's, there's no show times or anything. The fact that it's on there is encouraging. But where will it be? I I just... I Because I've talked to distributors um, and... There's a reason it, Malayalam ones usually just goes to Little India and like one screen. And they said like um, the theater chains gave up on Malayalam and they had to fight to get LJP's film at the one we saw it at. Mm. And they were kind enough to do that for us because yeah. they knew we wanted to see it. Right. Um, but apparently since the audiences aren't as big as the Telugu audience or, or the, the Hindi, or Hindi. Yeah. Uh, in LA specifically, right. um, that they, they don't often. I get it. it. I get it. It sucks. It does suck. Um, and that's why we miss a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> and then we were like coming to the next year. Like, oh, yeah, that probably would have won my best film of that. <laughs> uh, one of the things I would seriously do. <clears throat> save. Safe. Uh, no, no, let's say, say, say I was in a say I had Elon Musk's money. Mm -hmm. I would build a multiplex theater that has at least eight screens in L.A. Mm hmm. That caters to the best of Indian cinema that even though it doesn't get a wide distribution would get it's just a multiplex dedicated to Indian cinema. Yeah. And and let it play every region of the best of the best that's coming out. And uh, even if it's not the best but stuff that would ordinarily like a film like that or a film or, or a filmmaker like LJP who deserves his films to be seen in Los Angeles and just create a multiplex for that purpose. Why there's enough people in Indian cinema who have the pocketbooks to be able to contribute to something like that. It wouldn't have to be just one person doing it. Yeah. You know, I would love to see that just a simple multiplex that because is there a larger population of moviegoers on earth than Indians? No, technically by the numbers, no. No. Um but obviously all the regions are really small and everything like that. Yeah, so but by. still Small by comparison of yeah, the yeah, percentage yeah, 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 yeah. of India, not small by comparison to the rest no, of the world. No, no, no. 
So, uh, anyways, that looked great. Uh, let us know what you thought about it and which we are next Malayalam film that we should watch. Please let us know down below. Josh!